and I'm really excited to share with you that today is the first day of a 100 day painting challenge I'm doing. Every day for 100 days I will be painting a watercolor painting and I'm really nervous um, but I'm also really excited. I have learned that before you start a challenge like this or before you start anything big or even before you start like a painting, you should ask yourself what your intentions are. So my intentions for this challenge is to improve my watercolor skills and to learn. So today, that's what I'll be doing. I will be starting the first painting. Maybe I'll even start the second one to work ahead a little bit um, because I do have a lot I want to get done this week. And um, so yeah, but before I start the first watercolor painting, I am going to package up a painting that will be shipped today to its new owner. Here is the painting that all we should be now. Um, you've probably seen me paint this in a previous video. It's called Frayed and um, it's of a tattered Luna moth and it's varnished and ready to be framed in this frame right here and I'll be framing it for her for free and here it is framed. see my reflection <laughs> usually I don't frame oil paintings with glass but I thought I would um, let the owner decide whether she wants to keep the glass in the frame or to take it out so that's why I have the glass in the frame I really hope she enjoys it it's so special to send my art out into the world Okay guys, I'm going to start the very first painting of my 100 day challenge in this um, watercolor block thingy. 5 by 7 inches and it comes with 25 pages and I think I'm going to do a butterfly so wish me luck. <laughs> the first painting. I used these palettes, the um, Pastel Dreams palette from Prima Marketing, and I used this dark blackberry color from the Decadent Pies palette from Prima Marketing, and I used a lot of these colors, um, which are the metallic accents from Prima and I'm very happy how it turned out. I want you to stay I want you with me I don't want to stop you from the things that you were meant to be I want you to fly I want you to feel free guys so I spent most of the morning working on 2018 tech stuff and that wasn't that fun um, but I'm just glad that it's over and done with the rest of the day I'll be painting I hope to work on two paintings for the hundred day challenge so I 
I want to do today's painting and tomorrow's because tomorrow is um, going to be a little busy. I won't be home a lot of the day, so I kind of want to work ahead. One, one of the things that I am kind of nervous about this challenge is um, getting behind. I want to work ahead when I can. So today I will be painting two of the 100 day paintings. Okay, so I am going to get started. And I lost my mind And now it feels like The good times passed me by I can't keep running I finished day two. It's a little rosy maple moth. I'm really happy how day two turned out. I am really starting to like watercolors a lot. Definitely, it feels more freeing than oil paints. Okay, so I just spent an hour on my Instagram post and I'm kind of upset with myself that I wasted all that time. I just, I feel like I have a constant pressure to make my Instagram perfect and um, like my photos perfect and it's, it stresses me out and sometimes I spend way too much time perfecting my feed. I think I had a lot of trouble because I was trying, like for some reason, the colors of this moth um, wasn't exactly like correct like the moth was super saturated in my videos because I am trying to post more videos on my social media anyways I am just kind of upset with myself that I spent so much time on my Instagram post do any of you guys feel that way any artists here that constantly feels like they need to make their social media perfect and everything. Anyways, I am going to at least start day three and I am thinking about painting koi fish. So um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to start that now and see how far I get. So yesterday I did get a chance to do today's painting for the 100 day challenge and here it is. I'm so excited how it turned out. I feel like I am really liking watercolors a lot and I'm so excited to continue working on this challenge and um, thank you so much for following along on this challenge with me. I found that I really like shimmery watercolors and um, metallic watercolors and I don't get that a lot with oil paints. There are some metallic oil paints but um, I've only used silver oil paint before not like nothing else so experimenting with these shimmery watercolors is really fun and I can't wait to continue working on more pieces. So my plan today is to go to a Bible study and then I'm meeting my friend Liz for coffee and then after that I will be editing this vlog to possibly post on Thursday which is tomorrow and I also have another YouTube video I want to work on too. So um, that's like basically my day for today so I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for following along with me and I hope to see you in the next vlog. Bye guys!